Alright, internet, welcome to part three of this everlasting journey here um, on how to make a DVD. Uh, I just went through how to do it using Vegas Pro and v Architect Pro. Now I'm going to teach you how to use uh, any any other program, essentially. Um, we're going to go through Windows DVD Maker to be exact. Um, but Because uh, I don't have any of the other ones installed right now. So... Uh, this will be the last video uh, of this series. So anyway, let's get going. Um, so you've got your file, which is already in here and everything. And um, if you didn't see from last video, if you didn't watch it, or the the Architect Pro one, go File, Render As. You'll see I've already named it. I named it YouTube MPEG. Um, you're going to select YouTube uh, Main Concept MPEG 2. And you're gonna go down. And you're gonna go ahead. Oh, pick the DVD NTSC. Um, that has all the correct settings for the DVD um, format. I um, you also notice that um, just happens to be all the settings on my media. Or since my project came off of a DVD, it's and it's getting put back on a DVD. It's pretty seamless. Those are all the same. Um, so anyway, uh, then you'll just you just click save, and it'll render it as a file, and uh, that'll be into the folder, whatever folder you saved it as. So back on the desktop here, um, see here. So you'll see I've got all my files here. The the actual file I just rendered is right there. Um, so that's the file that we're going to be throwing into places. So I'm going to go ahead and open up Windows DVD Maker in this case. And we're going to throw um, it in there. Or you can do add items and browse through it and grab it. Um, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to call this YouTube Win DVD. It's interesting. This one allows me to do options 43 yep yep looks good fastest temporary location not quite sure where that is but anyway we'll go we'll move on all right so that's the options uh move on press next i'm just going to go with Hopefully this doesn't unsync to my audio. Oh look, this is the background of it too. That's kind of interesting. Huh. Probably plays the whole thing. Anyway, um... Yeah, that's a nice little preview. You can select whatever you want. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and burn this. Alright, I just burned it. Uh, you'll notice it uh, did all of it down here. It's, it too is asking me to make another copy of this DVD, which is uh, the same thing that DVD Architect Pro did, which is good to know that uh, this time around at least, Windows DVD Maker seems to be pretty good. Um, Let's go ahead and try this video out. Oh, I was a little confused there. I forgot that that's that we made the the menu part of the game. All right, uh, let's see. Yep, yep. I mean, yep. The video is all synced up and everything. It worked out. Um, so Windows DVD Maker in Windows 7 is a viable option. I would say, I would say that uh, depending on the length of your video, in uh, Windows DVD Maker in Vista may also be a viable option as well. 
um, always worth a try. If uh, neither of those work, uh, or if you're in Windows XP, or so none of these tutorials were applicable to you, <laughs> um, go ahead and open up um, Windows. Uh, go ahead if you if you did your editing in Ve uh, Vegas, go ahead and op uh, render it out into an MPEG like we did in the beginning of this video, and then go ahead and import it into Windows Movie Maker and use the Windows Movie Maker to import um, not import yeah imp to uh, to uh, author the DVD because when I believe Windows Movie Maker has a DVD authoring. Um, if not, then I know you can definitely author a VCD, which is perfectly fine as well, depending on the length, unless you're doing like an hour movie. Um, so go ahead and just, uh, if you're in Windows XP, I don't have that on my computer, and quite honestly, I don't feel like putting it on my computer because it's a bunch of junk. So you'll just have to uh, figure it out. Plus, I'm sure there's uh, a lot of Microsoft tutorials floating around on how to make a DVD using Windows DVD maker but so basically the big takeaway from this is that you just need if you import it into Vegas and um, you don't have Windows DVD maker or DVD architect pro then you um, export then you render as in Vegas um, you render as in Vegas and you'll do file render as and you'll make it an MPEG 2 and you'll just do DVD, do DVD NTSC because that will be all the right settings and everything and you'll just make it a separate file and a separate folder wherever you save it and then you'll uh, open up your Windows Media Player or Movie Maker and you'll import it into Movie Maker and then publish it from there. Should be pretty straightforward. So anyway, uh, thank you for bearing with me. Uh, I know the color, bowl is probably, the color is probably horrible on this still. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I'm just hoping that they'll come out with a new version for Windows 7 pretty soon. And um, Thanks for watching the videos. Please rate and comment if you'd like. Um, otherwise, I hope you enjoyed watching and I hope you learned something. Thanks for watching.